Great. Okay. Welcome back to part four of our video on chapter eight to nine. Right now, this video we are going to specialize on uh, the the past papers of law of demand and more specifically the relative version of law of demand. Okay. Now, so bear with me. It may look a little bit uh difficult in the beginning right but as you move on right with uh, let's say two to three uh, questions of practice right things will become smoother and much more predictable okay come on now let's see how in exam they will ask you about the relative version of the law of demand right all of the ingredients okay practice paper it says inconsistent with the law of demand you know dsc the whole inconsistent with the law of demand okay so we just need to find something that is inconsistent right like they make you inconsistent okay for example here imposition of import quota import quota with a quota what happens price would increase on you say thank you for our purpose this is a lump sum increase in price okay will lead to an improvement in the average quality of imported garments okay now with the quota okay so with a limited quantity you as a consumer let's think about it would you rather buy the bad ones or the good ones of course you would buy the good one therefore the average quality would improve this is consistent with the law of demand okay if you need to use the version we just mentioned in the last video right the relative price of the higher quality garments would have increased, right? That they don't need to pay every time relative price. You think that makes sense? Okay. People who live in remote area tend to buy better seats at concert held in town center. We just mentioned. Remember our example of Messi, Messi, lor, right? You see, take back one more thing. No problem. This is consistent. Sunshine, so you need to buy something like that. Okay. An increase in unemployment allowance raises the unemployment rates. So this is also consistent. Answer would be D. If a lump sum charge is imposed on per taxi trip, okay, or it is in taxi, the number of short distance trips will fall by the same percentage than the number of longer distance. Same smaller. I just okay. Anyway, this is not same, okay, smaller, but also not correct okay what's the we remember with a lump sum what happens is that the relative price of long distance would decrease now therefore the relative quantity would increase this one long distance definitely will fall because it's more expensive right but short distance should fall by more in order for their relative quantity to increase okay so it should be a larger percentage not smaller definitely not the same okay oh oh again right inconsistent inconsistent okay let's see when a higher per unit import tariff is imposed right your tariff law this one price increase the quality worsen it is inconsistent okay when the government reduced the unemployment benefit the number of unemployed people drops i mean you know it's always as I always say, HKEA always the same, right? 
when political unrest in major cities, okay, number of tourists dropped. 哇，好正常啫，有冇人咁啫？喂阿媽，敍利亞打仗啦，我哋一齊去敍利亞咯。No, right? That doesn't happen, right? If something is not safe, you don't go there. So it is consistent. When people expect the price, the price. Will rise. Now, this one we have not learned yet. But the point is, okay. Later, maybe in the next video. Yes, I think next video we talk about factors affecting demand and expectation. This one is an increasing demand. So this one is actually inapplicable. Am I right? Law of demand is inapplicable, but not inconsistent. Why? Because this is an increase in demand. Let's talk about that later in the next video. Okay? 好嘛？好，跟住啦。What about the next question? Again, inconsistent. 見嚟見去都係呢個字啊，係噶啦。好啦 ，A more high quality Japanese grapes are imported during Mid Autumn Festival. 我想問有節日，我買啲靚啲嘅生果，明唔明先先 ？Of course it makes sense。嗱 ，Sir， 唔使到 ready price 啊，我使乜 ready price 啊？係咪啊 ？This makes sense， right？ 好啦 ，increase in per unit tax on beer results in a fall in quantity of smaller bottle sold in the market。好正常啦，點解啊 ？Higher the price。Lower the QD, 好正常，係咪 low demand 咯？係咪啊 ？After the introduction of airport departure tax, which is a fixed amount, 即係見到呢個字啫，咩意思啊？呢個係講緊 lump sum， 係咪啊 ？The average length decreases. Okay, this is actually inconsistent. Exactly our answer. Okay, why? Here, let me put in some number. Okay, long distance, let's say ten thousand. Short distance, let's say one thousand. Okay, 好嘛 Now with a departure tax, let's say one thousand. Let's say one thousand. Okay, 应该冇咁贵嘅，几廿蚊嘅啫。Becomes this one. Now, do you see what happens? Originally. One lawn, ten shot. Now one lawn, five point five shots. You see the relative price of lawn trip has decreased. Therefore, the ratio of lawn to shot should increase. So the average should increase, right? The birth rate D. The birth rate increases when the income tax allowance for children increases. Well, if the government is doing something, the birth rate is two hundred thousand. Then, do you think the people are going to save money? Is it very consistent? Do it, right? Is it very consistent? Right? Now, what about the next one? Here. I think this is the last page. Yes, I think this is the last page. Then I can take a rest. Okay. Come on, Tara. Now, which of the following is Inconsistent with the law of demand, 又係 inconsistent 咯。嗱，小心啲啊 ，boys。From now on, you should know. Whenever we see 2016, 逢親見親，二零一六年，一定唔方好嘢啊。It always smells trouble. Okay. 當年啊，唔知佢離婚定失戀啦，出得極難啊。Okay， 咁啊，嗱 ，let's see。Let's see. Now, uh, for option A, when the government imposes an ad valorem tax, okay, now, 小心啲啊 Ad valorem refers to percentage of price on red wine, okay? The ratio of high to low remains unchanged. 我哋望望發生咩事啦？呢個嗱有啲難啊，當當年無啦啦出咗呢個咧。就 Q 咗好多人啦。Let's say high quality and low quality. High quality used to be one thousand. Low quality ten dollar. 十蚊買呢支酒，正唔正啊 ？OK， 好啦，咩叫 ad valorem tax 咧？嗱 ，for example， let's say we have an ad valorem tax of one da 誒 one hundred percent。好啦，一百 percent 啲咩意思啊？原來係根據你本身隻酒幾多錢，我收咗一百 percent 税。So here it will add this amount one hundred 
for the low quality, it will add ten dollar. So boys, let's calculate the relative price. One high quality used to be one hundred low quality. Now under the new price, two thousand and twenty, right? Am I or as you guys mentioned, twenty, right? Am I here? You will see one high is exactly the same as 100 low quality. Do you see any change in the relative price? Nothing changes. When relative price doesn't change, the ratio remains unchanged. This makes a lot of sense. Okay, this is high consistent. Yeah, so it's some DR. Come Now, what about B? A larger quantity of expensive fruit is sold in a far away market than a market near the farm. Well, you buy the air, my dear, you need to hold in sound there. Hi, my ya. Okay, now price of residential flats and quantity transacted are positively related. Let's see, mini go there. Hi, inconsistent. Yeah, but I didn't know. Come by here and see you. During an economic boom, I come to me, see, ah, little ah, economic boom, income increases, therefore, other factors not unchanged. So, ye, how much on love demand? Ah, this is inapplicable. I'm going to that, okay. In fact, this is an increase. In demand, same to a demand thing, do ah, come on, all right, to have increase in monthly rents of parking space would lead to a decrease in ningo decrease ah in the average quality of vehicle. Okay, let's say, see ah, like the let's say high quality vehicle, low quality vehicle. Okay, high quality would be this amount, some some ah, low quality, let's say three k. Okay, come on. Now let's say the parking. Okay, the parking is increased by one thousand. Okay, you got a triple guy a team. So a one k plus one k. Okay, I I don't think I need to do it again, right? You will see that the relative price of the high quality would drop. Okay, now therefore the relative quantity would increase. Okay, so this one inconsistent. 好唔好？好睇多条 M C 啊。inconsistent 嗱，你系咪见啊？嚟嚟去都叫 inconsistent 噶。所以你见到 inconsistent 呢个词咧 ，in B S C right， you need to be careful。most likely this will be about the re a relative price things， right？ 好啦，第一个啦 ，abolishment of tariff 即系咩意思啊 ？lump sum price decrease result in a rise in quality， 梗系。啱啦，呢個即死啊，係嘛 ？This is inconsistent. When things are cheaper, right? 平咗喎，係嘛？咁啊，應該 quality 會渣咗啦，係嘛 ？So A is the answer， 係嘛？呢個應該啱嘅，係嘛 ？Inconsistent, right? 好啦，個 B live fishes 嗱，你唔好理花啊 ，waiting 花啊 ，wait live fishes so higher price than frozen。好啦，一條識喐嘅魚貴過一條凍冰冰嘅魚，正唔正常啊 ？Very normal. 好正常啫呢件事，系咪啊 ？OK， 好啦 ，C。The ratio of high quality white wine， 上年啊 red wine， 今年啊 white wine， to the total white wine sold remains unchanged when government impose an ad valorem。又系呢个字啦，嗱，所以要识串啊，系咪啊 ？In exam， you need to know how to spell ad valorem， right？ Or else percentage of price 好鬼难写啊，系咪？ At Valorum, much easier to convey the meaning. Ah, mum, sing go you na. At Valorum, it should remain unchanged. This is consistent. Okay. And finally, developers tend to build higher quality housing units on a piece of land with good view. 正唔正常啊？好正常咧。你会唔会买山顶嘅起铁皮屋啊？唔会啊嘛，大佬。山顶嘅起豪宅唔会起铁皮屋噶嘛，系咪 ？So this makes a lot of sense. Little sir. 你解 M C 咧，你都唔係提提咯 ，relative price 係噶，係咁噶啦 ，make sense 就得咯。邊個話次次要用 relative price 啊 ？So boys, M C, as long as you see things like B make sense, then it is consistent.
。This is the beauty of law of demand. Law of demand， 靓在边度啊？靓在咩身上得咯？系嘛？你谂咁多嚟做咩啊？靓在咩身上得咯 ？OK， 嗱 ，one more， and then we are done for this part. OK， one more will be a long question. OK， solve drink。Tax, OK， 肥仔税啊，呢、这個上堂講咗啦，而家唔再講啦，好嘛 ？Now, as the amount of tax imposed on each bottle is the same, irrespective of bottle size， 話知你大樽定細樽，同一個價 ，OK。The proportion of larger bottle sold in the market will increase， 即係咩意思啊？嗱，你俾例子啊，嗱，睇你哋睇下 ，in when you are answering the question， you can't assume some prices， 啊，唔好 assume 佢咩價唔得噶 ，this doesn't work， right？ But the idea is this one， large bottle。Let's say twenty-five dollar, or as your classmate mentioned, twenty-five dollar. Here, small, 细啲啦，细支啲咪平啲咯，五蚊计咯，系嘛 ？Now let's say we have a fat tax. 而家肥仔税啦，系嘛？肥仔税 with a ten dollar increase. Okay, so this one becomes thirty-five, and this one becomes fifteen. 系嘛？你会见到啦。What happens used to be one large. Would be five small. Now, under the new pricing arrangement, one large would be roughly two small. Okay, lah. Okay, relative price decreases. Therefore, the relative quantity of large bottle would increase. Okay, 好啦 Explain this argument using the law of demand. So, 头两分你要做啲咩啊 ？The first one to two marks, you need to state the law of demand. Okay, law of demand.、Uh, what what is law of demand? It states that the higher the price, the lower the QD. 点解有两只拉丁文啊嘛 ？Vice versa. 跟住啦 ，Chatteris paribus. 嗱係咪啊？所以識拉丁文咧，好處咧就係哇，慳幾多字啊？係咪啊？慳幾多字啊？又型又快，係咪啊 ？So learn Latin, OK？ 第時讀 law 都係啦。If any one of you wants to study law, then in law you will see a whole lot of Latin. 雖然我已經唔記得曬啦。Anyway, OK？ 頭兩分係咁嚟啦。OK？ The third mark, OK？ We need to establish that, OK？ We need to establish that here. Larger bottles are most likely more expensive than the smaller bottle, and we need to establish that this is a lump sum increase. In 嗱，最好写清楚，考评嗰个冇写嘅，但系最好写咧 in。Nominal price of both larger and smaller bottle. 你最好写清楚系 nominal price. Okay, 好嘛 So what happens? The last two marks. Since this is a lump sum increase, the relative price of Large bottle. 嗱，最好写清楚啦。In terms of smaller bottle, would decrease. 而家啦 ，relative price 啲啦。所以啦 ，by the law of demand, the relative QD of large bottle versus small bottle would increase. Which Exactly what they mean. The proportion of larger bottle would increase. Okay, 得唔得？嗱，都几多嘢写噶。嚟多次啊，头两分啊。Law of demand. Okay, vice versa. Set at chatteris paribus. Okay, 好嘛？好啦，跟住啦。Then here, we need to establish the fact that larger bottle are most likely more expensive than the smaller bottle. So with a lump sum increase in nominal price. For both larger and smaller bottle, okay. You don't think about it. You can say by the same amount. Therefore, relative price of larger bottle 
in terms of smaller bottle would decrease, right? Would decrease. So the relative quantity demand would increase. 或者你唔中意呢啲字啦，你可以话系个 ratio 或者 proportion would increase. Okay, 咁啦 ，and boys, that would conclude our、uh, our part on the relative. Price version of the law of demand. 你見啦，兩條片加埋都差唔多成五十分鐘啦，非常之難嘅一個 topic 啦。So we can bid farewell to this topic, and so for the next video, which probably I'm not, I'm going to take tomorrow morning because now it's already twelve o seven. 係咪凌晨啦？係咪啊 ？Next video, I will talk to you about the factors affecting the Demand. 下次就唔係 love demand 啦，下次就係 demand 成條邊啦，好嗎 ？So I will see you later, not very soon. Okay, later then. Bye bye.